Hello my friends, Liberty Garden, June 27th, coming to you from the ranch. And today I brought some help and uh, we installed this corral. Still a work in progress, I need a head gate there so I have those 2x4s. And uh, I need to extend it still about uh, 20 more feet to the other side. So it's a, it's a, it's a small system, it's, just, it's a basically 40 by 20 with a chute and uh, and I need a, a head gate or, or a squeeze chute and I we just threw it out there it's not leveled nothing uh, I, be, I guess in hindsight I should have leveled this place but I don't have a, a tractor to level it so we just put it in the ground and this being clay so it's all uneven and, even and nasty but uh, it works I already ran the cows through here one time just kind of cycled them, fed them in here, and uh, they're okay. They didn't have they didn't have much much issue coming in and coming out. This is the place where I'm going to create. Just put that one straight and then run it that way, so it'll double in size. Right now, I just had this here done before a quick test, and also because I wanted to get the cows in here. And uh, let me back up a little bit so you can see it. I wanted to put the cows in there and put them in the in the chute, maybe with just uh, a couple of two by fours behind them and in front, because they're developing this uh, something in the ears. I don't know what it is. Uh, it looks like a scab, and uh, it's on the tip of the ears. I saw it last week on one. I thought, ah, maybe she got her, her, her ear caught in a branch or a thorn or something. Didn't, didn't put much attention to her. And this week I saw it on more. So I'm not sure exactly. It might be fly related or some kind of parasite. I'm not sure. Mm, they are dewormed and everything, but uh, I don't know. They got the, the fly control stuff on them as well. So... I need to get a head gate maybe next weekend and kind of put them in here and treat them. I already treated them with the, from a little distance. I got this product. I went to the. That's a biker over there, I think. Yeah. Oh no. Looked like a trike. <laughs> I went to the vet and um, I asked him, I showed him a picture of what I saw and, and he recommended this. Not the vet, but the egg store. So I kind of squirted this thing from a distance on their, in their ears wherever I could hit them. But it's a little hard. It's not the, the same as having them in a, in a, in a head gate and just kind of making sure all the areas are covered. So I'm going to try to get a head, shoot for, a head gate for next week and then install it. And I don't know if I might have to get a bed in here or not. I really don't know how serious that is. I've never seen it. It looks like a scab uh, or several scabs in the ear since I like around the tips. Uh, my guess, my deal, I think it might be fly related. I don't know. But anyway, other than that, the cows, the cows are doing good. They're, they're still in good weight. Today I'm rotating them again. We got some rain last weekend and throughout the week, so that's always good this time of year. But uh, the grass is getting a little drier. The, the grass is getting a little woody. Uh, it might be time for me to put a brush hog through all this mess here now, just get rid of all these little uh, weeds and little bodocks are growing and the there's a honey locust and stuff like that. Just kind of, now that the cows have harvested most of the grass that's, that's edible, I might just put a, a brush hog here. But anyway, folks, uh, thanks for watching, and that's about it. Just wanted to show you that, uh, that this little corral system, and this is very simple to put in. I mean, this, this corral system does not require any hardware or anything. It just, it goes, uh, this, this, uh, this pin goes in here, and at the bottom, there's, there's got a pin where you sit where you sit the, the panel. You want to be on camera, don't you? And that's it. I mean, you just assemble it like that. So, but it, they are they are about 100 pound panels or 80 pound, 100 pound panels. So they require two people to assemble. So I had to get somebody here to come help me. And it's just, uh, it's, you put a couple of tipos where, where it gets a little too wonky or something. Uh, you, you put a couple of two, two tipos on the side and that's it. But uh, unless you're running, you know, 1,200 pound bulls or something, you're not gonna have an issue with, with cows just kind of, these are six feet panels, so they're pretty, pretty 
tall and, and they're also heavy the, the good gauge on, on the on the pipes so i don't think the cows are going to be really knocking them down right now who knows <laughs> i tried running one one of the cows through here see if i could get her to <laughs> to, to 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 look at her ear and i didn't have these i, I only had uh, these three these three boards here and she just jumped right through it <laughs> but anyway so I didn't catch her again because she she was a little uh, uh, she wasn't very trusting after that okay folks until next time thanks for watching